Welcome to ATDP's Elementary Division 2021. I'm Christine Gerchow and I'm the director of UC Berkeley's ATDP. Orientation Day is about welcoming students and families new and returning to the ATDP community. This summer, there's a lot of welcoming to do because our program is as big as it's been in almost a decade. Now, usually at the orientation for elementary division, we might talk with you about things like drop off and pick up and whether to bring a water bottle. While those things aren't as important this year because we're fully remote, we nevertheless have some nuts and bolts to share with you about how you can have the most successful summer possible. So I encourage you to listen to the forthcoming videos from key elementary division stakeholders and leaders so you can do just that. Meanwhile, I'd like to share a few things myself. First is that the popularity of our 2021 program, again, as I mentioned, being offered remotely for the second summer in a row, this popularity is a testament to the students, to the resilience of our students and teachers alike. But we at ATDP also know and acknowledge the parents, guardians, grandparents, neighbors, and older siblings, as well as any others, who supported our youngest learners during their remote learning experiences. It was a team effort then, and it will probably be a team effort this summer. So thank you in advance for supporting your learner and making them part of our community. I would like to take the time to invite you to an event called Transitioning to Secondary Division, which will take place on July 28th from 1 to 2 p.m. on Zoom. This event is for any of you who have students who may have some interest in enrolling in ATDP's secondary division during a future summer. So again, during this event, we're going to share some information about the secondary division program. We'll have a counselor on hand as well as ATDP staff members who can help guide you and answer questions you may have. It will be July 28th from 1 to 2 p.m. on Zoom. More information and links to come, but mark down the date if it sounds interesting to you. I would now like to share briefly about some ATDP program highlights. First, we offered academic year classes remotely for the first time in our program history. So from February until the end of April, we had students in our secondary division taking classes such as advanced creative writing, the practice of law, and public speaking on the digital frontier. Another highlight is that ATDP has officially expanded it, its explorations program. In the past, it used to be that students had to be enrolled in an ATDP course in order to participate in an exploration. This is no longer the case. If you have any interest or a friend or a sibling in any of our explorations, you do not have to be signed up for a class. And this goes for meaning an SD or ED class. And this goes for both divisions. I encourage you, if you have interest, to check out the ATDP website and sign up for an exploration right now. The next update is that ATDP proudly raised money for scholarships and created its own new scholarship program called Pathway Scholars. We also participated in ATDP's Big Give for the first time in program history and tripled our fundraising goal. The final update is that ATDP is celebrating its 40th anniversary this year. Yes, we're turning 40. And I can't think of a better way to celebrate this major milestone than by having almost 2,000 students or just over 2,000 students enrolled in our programs for this summer, despite such difficult odds. I would like to wrap up by saying a heartfelt thank you to the ATDP staff, Carrie, Cass, Dev, Stevie, Mildred, and Julissa. And I would also like to thank Lisa Kalla and Professor Frank Worrell, our faculty director. That's it for me. In conclusion, we at ATP wish you and those you care about good health and a safe and enjoyable summer. We're thrilled you're part of our community and enjoy your classes. Go Bears. Hello, welcome to the ATDP Parent Orientation. My name is Lisa Levy and I am the site administrator. For the safety of our students and staff, we will be online again this summer. However, you can still expect your students to experience great instruction that will keep them interested and intrigued all summer. We have worked hard to put together a program that is stimulating and cohesive for all students. We look forward to working with them and learning with them during the program. 
Your student's class is scheduled to meet three and a half hours per day. Please note that due to Zoom or screen fatigue, your student's class may not be composed of 3.5 hours of real time direct instruction. It is up to your student's instructor to determine how the class period progresses. For example, there may be direct instruction followed by an independent activity or project time and then a break and then that cycle may repeat. Of course, individual classes may be structured slightly differently. A2DP teachers will be utilizing Zoom for direct instruction and most will be using Google Classroom to post assignments and give individualized feedback. Your student's instructor will provide more detailed information about the class. Letters from the instructors will be posted in your online account by June 23rd. ATDP is not a drop-in program. Daily on-time attendance is required. Students will be expected to actively participate in class meetings and to complete assignments and projects as assigned by the teacher. Of course, we understand that something may happen to prevent your student from attending on a particular day. Should that happen, you are asked to notify both the teacher and the ATDP office in writing to explain the absence. Please note that excessive absences may result in your student being dismissed from the program. Some parents will receive notice by email that they need to come to Washington School, the traditional home of ATDP at 565 Wine Street in Richmond. Materials will be distributed by grade levels on June 26th and 27th from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Please make sure that you know the name of the class your student is enrolled in and we will direct you to the correct pickup station. Class materials will be handed to you when you drive up. There is no need for you to exit your car. Class materials may include a letter from the teacher explaining the course and including their contact information. Otherwise, that letter has been posted to your online account. Teachers will be reaching out to the parents of the students enrolled in their classes to further clarify the course and the times and ways for you to ask whatever question you may have of them. This may include Zoom parent meetings or a dialogue by email. Further details will be included in the letter you receive from your student's teacher. Like every year, you will receive a written evaluation of your student's progress and performance during the course. These reports will be sent directly to your home after the conclusion of the program. Thank you. Hello, ED families. My name is Mildred Flores and I work at the ATDP office. With classes starting on July 12th, I wanted to provide a few reminders. Number one, attendance. Students are expected to attend all classes for the entire three weeks of the program. If there are any unavoidable scheduling conflicts, please contact the ATDP office right away to see if the absences can be accommodated. Please note that ATDP has a very strict attendance policy and missing too much class time can result in dismissal from the program. All attendance matters should be communicated via email to the ATDP office. Our email address is atdpoffice at berkeley.edu. Number two, be on the lookout for our summer newsletter. During the three weeks of the program, we will be sending weekly updates and announcements to all of our ED families. As always, please contact us if you have any questions. Go Bears! Hola, hola! Mi nombre es Mildred Flores y yo trabajo en la oficina de ATDP. Con los cursos empezando lunes, julio 12, quería hablar con ustedes un poco sobre su asistencia en el programa. La expectativa es que los estudiantes estén presentes todos los días del programa. Nuestro programa tiene una póliza muy estricta sobre asistencia y estudiantes que faltan mucha clase pueden ser despedidos del programa. Claro que también entendemos que pueden ver situaciones inevitables como una gripa que puede causar ausencias. Pedimos que familias nos manden un correo electrónico si sus niños tienen que faltar por cualquier razón. También los quería informar que durante las tres semanas del programa vamos a mandar un boletín informativo cada semana. Asegúrense de revisar sus correos electrónicos. Um, nos pueden contactar um, con nuestro correo electrónico atdpoffice arroba at berkeley.edu. Hasta pronto.
Hi, my name is Ricardo Gonzalez. I am the Tech Support Coordinator for ATDP. I have been involved with the program in one way or another since 1986 as a student, a TA, an instructor, a parent, and an advisor. My role this year will be to aid students and teachers in case they find any technical issues during the program. If you find yourself in need of assistance, feel free to visit our tech support page at atdp.berkeley.edu slash tech support. There you will be able to connect with our amazing technical support team and we'll be happy to assist you. Have a great virtual experience. Thanks. También hablo español. Gracias.